blessing my viewers welcome back businessman flees jamaica after failing to deliver promise car a sin catching businessman who made interpol a red notice for a wanted person was nabbed in panama and sent back to jamaica to face the music he is now facing charges of fraudulent conversation failing to issue receipt and non-delivery of our goods of service and contracted date in relation to two incidents that happened in March and August of last year. Charge is 52-year-old Elvis Jones of Helsha Avenue in Portmore, St. Catherine. Reports from the police are that a man and a woman entered into separate agreements with Jones in March and in August respectively to have a 2016 Subaru in prison motor car and a 2012 Toyota minivan imported from Japan the police said they made the agreed payments with promise that the vehicle would be delivered within four weeks a report was made to the police after the vehicles were not delivered as promised and an investigation launched it was later discovered that jones had fled the island the police said he was subsequently placed on interpol's red notice for a wanted person the accused man was held in panama and deported back to jamaica on april the 30. he was charged with two days later on april the 15 after a question and answer session in the presence of a lawyer he is scheduled to appear in the kingston and st Andrew parish court on april the 19th to answer to charges 68 year old chash in atwater after running with couple a 68-year-old man from Protoss Mountain District in Westmoreland is now facing several charges after an argument with a couple at his home on April 12 led to Shart reportedly being fired. He is Keith Spence, otherwise called Trash. Spence has since been charged with two counts of shooting with intent using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony and possession of a prohibited weapon. Reports from the police are that about 7 p.m. Spence and a couple were arguing at his home when Spence told them to leave. The couple made their way outside and stood at a section of the road when Spence reportedly brandished a handgun and opened fire at them. They ran and escaped without injury, the police said. A report was made to the police on April 14. Spence surrendered to the police and then he was charged for the offense Spence careful you're treading light suspect in the murder of Sentan cop fatally shot a man who was being sought in connection with Monday night's murder of a policeman in Sentan was fatally shot during a reported confrontation with the police in Steertown, Sentan and Tuesday, the deceased has been identified as Seraldo Butler alias Siri. Reports are that sometime after 3 p.m. police went to Steertown in search of Butler. He reportedly sustained injuries during an exchange gunfire with the police and later succumbed the police reportedly seized a pistol at the scene police constable ricardo police constable ricardo fairclad 45 was shot on monday night after an interview in a robbery and sus subsequent gun attack on a female vendor at a section of bravo street in sentence bay Reports are that about 8.30, the woman was standing on the street when she was approached by a gunman who opened fire hitting her in the upper body. The police commissioner vows a strong 
response to cops death. Fairclot who was nearby responded by pull Fairclot who was nearby responded by pulling his service pistol during the exchange. He was shot in the upper body. Fairclot succumbed to his injuries at hospital while the woman admitted. Following the fatal shooting of Butler, on Tuesday the police said that both the Independent Commissioner of Investigation and Inspectorate Professional Standard Oversight Bureau have been noticed of the incident. The Jamaica Constable Force also retreated its commitment to bringing those responsible for attacks on its officers to justice, emphasizing the continued efforts to ensure community safety and curb criminals activity the police also urge persons confronted by police to surrender peacefully and not engage the law enforcers with lethal force yeah man the police say my one and say this is from trying to take them on in a gun battle because trust me you will be coming out and the losing end of the battle believe it or not for these police officers when them come for you you know you better know say <laughs> you are go down today today you are go down but me have to say yes man my viewers job well done and the quick action of the police and of course keep on taking these gunmen off the street not only Taking them off the street but putting them to rest. Watch, like, share, comment and subscribe.